Offshore Unlimited began when I was in um, Darwin seeing one of our TAS shipping clients and he said he was after a chase boat and I said yep well, I reckon we can get you one of those. In Tasmania we're very fortunate to probably have some of the the best, toughest seafarers around for our style of vessel. And we had a couple of mates with a shipyard, so we went to them and um, designed a boat, um, came up with a plan and um, they built it for us. And since then they've built us two more. There's fantastic opportunities. Take those risks, find the right people to um, support you in taking those risks and you'll do all right. We're fruit growers, primarily apples and cherries. In peak operations, we employ about 450 people during cherry season. There's always been challenges in the fruit industry, but the opportunity with the right product at the right time is as great as it's ever been. Everything we want to do is give ourselves the best chance. I'm 100% confident that if we do that, there'll be a viable return for us, and we'll be here doing it for a long time to come. I learnt plastic welding from uh, books and phone calls and from people that were prepared to give me a chance. Over the last six months, approximately $1.2 million with the grant that was awarded to us have gone back into the state, so we've been able to expand quite rapidly. We've been able to work it from nothing up to what it is now and uh, yes, it's turned into a thriving business for us. It's keeping everything in Tasmania and I strongly feel that's how it should be. Tasmania is an incredible place to grow wine, particularly sparkling wine. Having the International Cool Climate Symposium here in Tasmania shows that not just Tasmanians are recognising how incredible the wine growing and wine making opportunities are here, but so does the rest of the world. There is great confidence out there. People who've been working in the industry for generations have decided that Tasmania is very much worth serious investment. We've got real security in our ability to grow with the Tasmanian wine industry. I can't tell you how much I love Tasmania. I am like a little crazy ambassador to anyone who hasn't been to Tassie. I go, you've got to come to Tassie. We've made lavender contemporary. We've done that by engaging in agri-tourism um, and that's been a great model for other agribusinesses right through Tasmania, through mainland Australia and through the world. We have about 55,000 visitors last year and a huge number of those visitors now are new visitors to Australia, to Tasmania. To me, Tasmania is a perfect commercial proposition. It's got everything that the world wants. It's a case of just making it available to the world. I started Bridge Pro Engineering as a means of controlling my own destiny. Tasmania is a great place for us to be based and so we plan to diversify our customer base to a level that it, uh, we're not so dependent on one particular market sector. My advice to other business owners, get out there and try new things. Improve your product offering, innovate, find new ways of doing things. This time last year it was a greenfield site. We have invested in producing strawberries and raspberries for the domestic market. We've been very lucky recently to be awarded a grant. That has accelerated our plans significantly. People want affection and so that's what we're striving for is to provide them with that. So you've got to just go for it, give it a go. Specialised Vehicle Solutions is a business that manufactures support equipment for the underground mining process. Our customer base is some of the largest mining companies in the world. The experience with people in the underground mining industry uh, on the northwest coast is second to none in the world and the design and engineering capability that exists in this area of the world is first class. I took the opportunity in 2002 to acquire the cinema from the Australian film industry. Total rebuild from the inside, outside, upwards. A complete reinvestment in the technology of the digital era. Crowds have increased from 20,000 to over 200,000 cinema admissions a year now. That's over two MCG grand final crowds for Tasmania. We've got so much going for us. Rally Safe began in 2011. We had a serious accident in Target, Tasmania. We went about building a small electronic device that would communicate between vehicles and warn a second vehicle of a possible collision ahead. It's absolutely fantastic technology here. We are based in Alberston nowadays with technology. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. If you've got an idea, go for it. Don't sit back and expect the world to look after you. Vodafone started in Tasmania in 1999. When we arrived here, we had about 100 people. In the last 14 years, it has grown to what we have today, which is over 750. 
we are a very innovative company. Having a multinational company in Tasmania is amazing. The expansion of Hobart and 750 more jobs being provided to the local community came about because that's what our customers wanted. A lot of our people are local. That has a, a flow-on effect. Our cafeteria, the vending machines, the security, our facilities and helps the community. The future in Tasmania is really exciting. The companies all got together, we could see that it was better to work together than work individually. We can produce a fantastic product that is renowned the world over and is at the same time driving industry and, and jobs creation. It is about future investment for us all, you know, we need to get new growing sites, we need to add capacity to what we're currently doing, then we need to put in place all that infrastructure. Macquarie Harbour was seen as a good place to do that. What's now a half a billion dollar industry, working towards a billion dollar industry by 2030 is a pretty amazing thing to have happened. We had a dream to open a French style bakery patisserie and the conditions were right for this business. We use Tasmanian produce wherever possible because it fits with the branding of our business and it helps the local economy. We started with three front of house staff and now we have close to 30 staff. The amount of events that happen in Tasmania greatly contributed to the number of visitors to our business. If you got the will to do something, Tasmania is a place where you can definitely achieve your dream.